Welcome to Talking Plant Protein. We're not gonna do too many nut puns, but we're gonna crush it and we're going to maybe not crack as many jokes, Emily. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the nut puns to you, Joey. <laughs> all, all right, now you represent almonds, right? So tell me uh, about your, your job role and uh, specifically what you do. Yeah, so I work at the Almond Board of California, which is a nonprofit that supports the entire industry um, of almond growers. And there are about over 7,000 almond growers in California. Um, we grow over 80% of the world's production right here in about 500 miles. It's pretty impressive. Really? Wow, yeah. that, that's a, a lot of almonds. Almonds is actually one of my, my favorite nuts. And um, when I was a kid, you know, my parents wanted me to eat like more fruits and vegetables and whatever. And like, like, oh, maybe have some nuts. So that was one of the more like healthy things I started going to because growing up in Wisconsin, I like cheese and fried things. I know this is talking plant protein, but um, I've gotten much healthier in my um, elder age, if you will. All right, now you're coming up, uh, you're speaking at Future Food Tech in March. So what's the focus of your discussion? Yeah, so I'm going to be on a panel at Future Food Tech. It's uh, called Functional Ingredients, Creating Accessible and Nutrient-Dense Foods. So during the panel, we're going to talk about, you know, the rationale behind choosing the ingredients that developers put in uh, functional foods and, and what's the biggest challenge as it relates to ensuring accessibility, uh, both at the product development side and the consumer side for functional foods. And then we'll also hit upon, you know, some consumer trends like immunity and gut wellness, focused foods, and you know, what it, what happens when we're looking to focus there at the product development side. Yeah, and, and when you look at almonds, it's one of those things where it seems to be a little bit more um, forward thinking where you've got these uh, potential alternatives in the food market. I mean, the almond cheese and is uh, almond milks and I'm sure there's almond meats and all sorts of different things. So um, can you talk about uh, these things and why almonds seem to be a little bit more forgiving as far as an alternative f f food or plant protein, if you will? Yeah, you know, I, I think it has a lot to do with just the love we see of almonds. So at the Almond Board, we um, market almonds across the globe. And regardless of where you go, you see elements of familiarity and, and love of almonds. And I think that really helps when product developers are looking to make innovations more approachable. Um, so California almonds, they actually, you probably know this, they're one of the few natural ingredients that meet the diverse needs of an R&D professional. So whether they're looking to drive taste, texture, um, or utility within their manufacturing process, and then have something that blends both the sweet and savory formulations, you know, almonds are a simple and natural way that they can do that. And then on top of it, they're available in 14 forms. So if you're a product developer, knowing that you can easily call up and get butter or paste, um, you know, or milk, it's a big deal. Yeah, and 14, I didn't, I had no idea there was 14 forms of different ways you can use almonds. I'm sure you guys are working on even more representing that many different almond growers. But um, as far as diets, right, like different forms of diets and everybody seems to be on something different. And what types of diets do almonds fit into? So especially when we look at plant-based, you know, almonds fit in several types of diets. So you've got keto, Whole30, vegan, vegetarian, flexitarian, reducitarian, which is explained to my husband yesterday what those were, um, gluten-free, dairy-free, dairy -free and clean label. You know, almonds just suit all of them. And it really comes down to the versatility of the almond itself with all those different forms and then the strong nutritional profile. Um, you know, so it makes them favorable whether whether you're doing product development or recipe development. And, and so whether it's ketogenic, you know, or even looking for indulgence in some of those places, you know, there's no sacrifice or flavor um, or nutrition in working with almonds. Yeah, I mean, I, I see it in pretty much every single diet, right? Like you said, with, with keto, paleo, plant-based, you you see almond as being sometimes more of a base now, as opposed to just kind of you know a side option. So it's really interesting to see that. Um, as far as innovation with almonds, what's what's next, and what can we look forward to? You know, Joey, I I don't know, and I'm so excited though for what's to come. I'm going to share with you a couple things we've kind of played around with, um, with some of our partners. But you know, they just provide a lot of inspiration to developers. And we talked about plant based and protein, but one of the spaces that's super exciting to me is this area of skin and gut health, um, and and permissible indulgence. So you know, almonds are this traditional ingredient you kind of mentioned that earlier, but they they also really allow for a lot of innovation beyond the basics. Um, so as we know, there's there's 
more consumer demand for almonds. We see it both in the kernels and then we see it in new product introductions that we track. And we know that new product, product introductions continue to rise with almonds across the globe um, in all the markets that we track. And so that, that really helps a lot when, when developers are looking at innovation. Um, but skin health specifically, we see some CPG companies trying some fun things. So Rethink Ice Cream and Wild Friends, two different companies, they're using almond forms like milk and butter to combine it with collagen. Hmm. And collagen, as you know, has uh, skin benefits like strengthening skin elasticity, beautiful hair, um, nails. And then you add the almond, yes, you, I'm sure you're very uh, deep in the uh, collagen in your diet. But, um, but you know, you add the almonds to it and then you get a nutritional boost because you're adding in protein and fiber. Plus, we have half of the recommended daily um, requirement for vitamin E within a serving of almonds. So you're also adding other skin benefits to it um, as it relates to that, it helps protect your cells from the damaging effects of free radicals. Um, from pollution or cigarette smoke or other environmental factors. And so it's, it's a really amazing pairing, um, you know, and, and I'm excited to see where it's going to go. And then, you know, when you look across innovation, we, we don't do any development work at the Almond Board. So a lot of companies um, that are part of the industry or other supply chain partners do most of it, but we do partner with companies to come just help showcase what almonds could do. And we partnered with Colinex recently, and they're a food product development consulting firm. And I loved the two examples that, that I'm going to share with you because it just showed the spectrum. So one was this almond baked protein poof, and it took protein powder, powder and flour. And it, so it allowed it to be like a really functional fuel. And, and they extruded it and baked it. And it just became like this canvas that then you could apply all sorts of craveable flavors too. So whether it was cocoa, brownie flavor, or cinnamon roll, or even like something on the spicy and like mango and ancho chili, um, it was awesome and delivered on that taste and health spectrum. And then on the skin health side, imagine a gummy fruit snack that had almond in it. Hmm. So using that almond oil uh, with that, those essential fatty acids and polyphenols and vitamin E, it really allows you to like, have a skin health focused product. And so their idea was taking a cranberry or pomegranate or sweet cherry gummy and filling it with a flavored almond oil. So it could kind of deliver both on skin health while you get that nostalgic uh, snacking experience. Wow. From poofs to gummies to skin health, almonds got it covered. So uh, Emily, where can people find out more about your organization? Well, if you want to go to almonds.com, you can learn a lot about the nutritional profile of almonds as well as the overall industry. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody as well at Future Food Tech on March 24th. Um, we'll be at the, the panel on functional ingredients, creating accessible and nutrient-dense foods. Hope to see Sorry. everybody there. Sounds great. Uh, I know everybody will tune in and uh, appreciate you coming on. I, I kept the puns to a minimum. Uh, thanks for coming on Talking Plant Protein. Thank you, Joey. Have a great day.